Hey everyone, welcome back to the 900, my Battletech Flashpoint series. So today we're going to take on a mission. Um, first thing we're going to do, um, let's have a look in the barracks. Now between episodes, I had a look at the mech bay. Uh, once again, my ADHD is taking over. Once I had a look at the mech bay just to see what it would, how, many, how long it would take to outfit our second Panther with a large laser and an LRM-10 like this first guy. And it's going to be eight days. The cost isn't that much, but the, the cost in days is too much. So we're going to leave that for now. Um, we're going to pull off another contract today. Uh, but I said we're going to go to the barracks first. Let's just have a look at our mech warriors. So we do have the ability to pick a second um, skill here. And I'm thinking for the main guy, for now, head of foot Jesus, I think, um, I think he's going to be the one that's going to be in the big mech uh, handling all the enemy targets. So I'm thinking probably we're going to go bulwark. Um... Because I want him up in the front, so he's going to be taking a lot of punishment. So we're going to do that. Let's give him that. Training complete. And then Owl Commander. got a little bit of skills points because she had to fill in for Shiv last mission. She'll be doing the same this time. So we're going to raise the gunnery up to four. Training That'll help out a little bit. And Commander. Possum. Now we've got a choice what we want to do with him. Uh, we've Rhea's got sensor lock. So this guy right now is a long-range missile boat. Um... Probably going down the Master Tactician line would be good. But I'm also thinking, too, that Bulwark is going to be good for him. Um, just because they're going to be standing back shooting. So if they do get shot at, th uh, that would help. And Gunnery is also a possibility. Um, so if we go this route, you get uh, minus recoil pen penalty, which is helpful. Um, that damage reduction and stuff for cover is really good. So I'm thinking that's probably the way we want to go with this guy. Um, I know we were talking about doing a lot of uh, a bunch of mechs with Ace Pilot, but this first skill, right? Um, game one of bonus evasion charge really is for people that are like in light mechs up close. So I'm thinking that probably we might get Owl going down this line, um, and maybe Shiv as well. But I think right now for Possum, he's the long range guy. Um, what's going to give us the most advantage though? This gives us minimum range, but that would mean that the guys have already gotten close to us, in which case we've already done something wrong. So let's go. Let's go this route for now. Hmm. It's a hard decision. Multi-target would be nice as well. You know, I'm going to leave him for now, until I can figure out how I want to outfit my lance. I'm just going to leave him for now. And Rhea, we have already gone for sensor lock, which has already proven itself to be invaluable with the last mission, so that was great. So we're going to leave this as it is, and we're going to go to the command center and go to contracts. So today we're going to do insurrection and interception, and this is basically an assassinate mission like we did with the last time. Um, you'll notice too that our funds have dropped a little bit. I had to buy some LRM ammo, um, just because we are going to be outfitting the second panther with an LRM. We're not going to do it until we actually shift planets, so we'll wait for that. Um, so we're going to go do, do interact, insurrection interception. It is against the Capellan, so we're basically doing tit for tat. Last time we did an assassination mission for them against the local government. Now it's local government against them. Whatever. If they want to fight, we'll take the cash. So we're going to go 2 of 8 again, take some money, just to make sure we're going to make our financial report. I'm going to accept this. And I'm going to go to the same lance and deploy. Let's get this done. All right, here we go. Okay, so our main guy's up over here. And I had a hard time figuring out what map we're on there for a second. So do we have reinforcements coming from back here? We don't. doesn't look like it anyway. They might show up later. We do have guys over here. So chances are we're fighting a meeting mech. And we're going to do what we always do on this map. We're going to push in up here to the upper right. Copy that. Let's get into here. Affirmative. We want to engage this main guy first. Um, let's not get right in where he can see. He's going to be able to see us here. Am I, uh, no, he's still out of range. So let's get down a little closer. It's nice having a bunch of mechs that are reasonably the same speed. You don't really have to worry about sprinting forward and stuff. Let's get into here. Confirmed. All right. It's hard to tell who's who now. Um, 
Yeah, now I think we can close. Let's just close the distance and get in as close as we can here. Uh, let's get into here. We're going to be spotting them now. Don't need to tell me twice. It's good to go. All right, let's get up here. Let's find out what we got. So we got a medium mech. And it looks like we might have some Copy that. medium reinforcements as well. That'd be nice if we get a bunch of medium mechs. I'm going to reserve. See what this guy does. If he's just going to sit there. No, he's moving forward. Griffin. Okay. Ow. Okay, that was a miss. Good stuff. Worried about that for a second. Okay, so, Aria. Let's get you over here. Um, I'm, yeah, I don't want to get too close. So let's move over here. And, and we are going to sensor lock this guy. I want the evasion gone. I've got a sensor lock. Okay, so he's got half armor. Um, let's get the medium lasers and SRMs in here. Target him. Fire everything. Targeting for an alpha strike. So I want to soften him up first. Um, with as many... Um, on you, um, splash weapons as possible so that I can pinpoint damage with the Vindicator. So we're going to fire all these guys. Okay, structure is exposed somewhere. Let's get the Vindicator down to here. Let's do... Oh, we don't have enough for an offensive push. Okay, so what do we got this guy here? His one side's almost gone. Alright, this is fire. Yeah, this guy's not having a good day. Our target is bugging out. Yeah, I know he's bugging out. <laughs> he's not going anywhere, though. Don't worry, Darius. He's not going anywhere. He thinks he's going somewhere. So we're going to move Rhea back over here. Here. So I think we finally... We got finally got our precision strike in. She's going to CT this guy. Um... We finally got our stride, I think. Wasn't expecting a kill, but I want that guy pushed back a turn. And we're going to let Owl finish him up. So they do have a light mech coming in. But they were mostly medium, but that's fine. We get to a point behind this hill where they can't see us. Fire on this guy. As much as I would like to salvage this guy as best as possible... Um, I just don't think it's feasible. So we want to kill him as fast as possible. Comes an LRM boat. Nope, that's two LRM fives, so that's probably a locust with LRM fives. I hear you. And that's fine. Okay, we'll move over here. No sweat. Firing at this guy. Wow, we actually have to use everybody to kill this guy. So he's unstable now. And I'm not even going to bother moving. Staying still, firing. Wow, we didn't kill him. Oh, yes, we did. Never mind. <laughs> he's just taking a little bit of a dirt nap. All right. So they got to push up if they want to fight us now. So we're going to sensor lock again. So let's get uh, Rhea down here. Uh, we're going to bring her around to this position. And let's get a sensor lock on this guy here, because he hasn't moved yet. And I can't, because he's out of range, so we're just going to brace. Making me look like an idiot? That's fine. I'm used to it, though. Okay, possum. Let's back up a little bit. Brace. Here comes number three. So it's three light mechs. Let's get Owl around here. My way. Moonwalk it back, embrace. Move into here, embrace. What's up with the moonwalks, man? Okay, so let's sensor lock somebody that. Maybe we can sensor lock that. We can. Nah, I don't know about targeting that guy. We have to all move over here into the open to get him. 
So let's um, get Rhea up to here. It's a bit risky, but we're going to sensor lock this guy back here, only because I think this guy's going to be going into cover. Yeah, so it was a Locust missile version. Yeah, he's making his way into cover. I'm not sure how you can see me from there, but I'll give it to you. Um, let's go with uh, Possum first. I think you're outside large. No, you're inside large laser range. Let's do that then. Fire on you. Come those missiles. Wow, he must have had like gotcha. no armor. Wow. They got two guys left. Um, let's just burn them. I don't think they got a lot of armor. So we got a Jenner, D, and another Locust with LRMs. So let's go after the Jenner. He's the biggest threat, I think, of the two. And he's got no armor. Moving into here. Surprise! How can you mess with the PPC? No, guy! So I think I'm going to switch out the Vindicator to two um, larges and two mediums. Damn, that guy hit well. Nice job, buddy. Barely hit, Commander. Don't, you know, what can I do you make you? a point of saying something like that and you just end up getting CT'd or something stupid. Okay, much better chance to hit here. Panther's going to fire on this guy. Fire everything. Close the right arm, so two medium lasers gone. There's more where that came from. Alrighty. Let's see if we can finish them up this turn. So this is a super quick mission. I might pull off another one today. Because there's plenty of half skull missions that we haven't taken yet. If we can knock two off today, that would be great. Let's get Rhea around. Moving out. Once again, we're gonna target this guy, fire everything. Knocked down, left leg destroyed. Is that a kill? Oh, I thought it was a kill there for a second. Okay, Al, let's put the back aim on this guy. We'll go. Let's have some fun with him. Giving him everything I've got. There goes his leg. And all I have to say is, thank goodness I chose multi-target all right we're gonna walk it back sorry we're gonna moon walk it back and a multi-target um, gonna put come on there we go so the PPC is gonna go to B and um, a will take the medium and the SRM4 and let's see if we can finish these guys up There goes the right torso. There goes the left torso. Enemy they call me the torso hunter. Alright. Don't have to move. These guys are done. Just gonna fire straight on this guy. CTM. One down. Want to minimize the loot table with uh, stuff from these guys. I want to get most of the Shadowhawk. Well. At least get the Shadowhawk part anyway. Fire on this guy, CT. Fire. Confirm. Bang! You're dead! Eliminated. Okay, cool. So let's jump into one more mission here before, before the end of the uh, episode. Because that was fast. Alright. 142,000. That puts us well in p position for our um, financial report. No real damage per se. And we have to decide what we want here. Um, once again, can't choose mech parts because they're not uh, the good mechs, but PPC is worth good cash, right? It's 180,000, and the LRM10 I think is worth a bit. Let's take those two. 
two locust parts. We got a locust, which we're going to sell. All right, cool. So that's not bad. Okay, so we got the locust now. We're going to end up selling that, but let's jump into one more mission before the end of the day. And let's go with uh, sending a message. Destroy base. Nah. Too many base destructions in Rogue Tech. Beefed up security, defend base. Let's do something quick. Ambush convoy. Mm, let's go this route. I think it's probably the fastest. Destroy the base. Let's do this. And we're going to go... Should we go for more cash? It's a half a skull. Let's go this route. Two of eight. That's not a problem. All right, let's deploy and get this done. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Base destruction. Know this map well. Should have no problem doing this. Uh, let's get our guys into the trees here to start off, just in case their turrets can shoot long ranges. Let's get right up in here. All right, so got to watch out for their scouts. So once again, keeping ourselves in the trees. Enemy contact. Let's move into here. Moving to position. All right, let's find out what we're up against. Chances are it's a bunch of half-assed mechs. I want to burn these guys fast. Um, I hear you. Yeah, let's go possum first. So we got a spider. Yeah, minimal armor. Let's fire everything. He's ball work, but I don't really care. We're just going to unload everything on this guy and drop him as fast as we can. Yes. Nothing else has moved up, so we're going to take the advantage and move up. Move into here. Copy that. Three mediums and SRM fire. Fire, fire everything. Soften this guy out before we blast him with the PPC. Okay, Owl. Okay, we got another guy coming up, but we're going to ignore him for now. Moving pretty quick. Lerm 10? Maybe? Or maybe it's a... Hmm. Uh, the jump now. Maybe it's a pair of LRM5s. Could be a, one of those locusts again. Fire everything on this guy. Copy that. Left torso, right torso, wow. Scored a critical hit. Good thing for him, he's got his weapons in the CT, eh? There's the extra there's the extra mech. We're gonna fire on this guy. We should be able to finish him up now. Wow, he survived. Good on you, buddy. I mean, it's nothing that you do. Oh, God, here comes the AC-2s. Oh, only one hit. Okay. Yeah, we got to smoke these guys fast. So let's get Owl up here. Let's finish this guy up. I want him gone. Yeah, so that is the Locust with the missiles. Let's finish him up. Let's hopefully finish him up. Oh, my God, he's still going. Not apparent. Apparently it doesn't hurt, because he's still alive. Here comes the melee attack. Suicidal spiders. Well, at least you did 30 damage, buddy. Um, let's get Rhea. It's going to sensor lock this guy back here, but I think we need to smoke this guy first. Oh, God. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it's about time. It took six mechs to kill him. Oh my god. Well, six mechs firing in total. Okay, Jenner D. Wow. Nice work, guy. Well, I have no evasion, so that'll do it. Uh, so the ACs could see you, so let's get you down here. Hopefully the ACs can't see you now. Let's fire on this guy. The actual base destruction will go quick, I think, once we get these guys down. 
Okay, everything misses. We really need to focus on that uh, Jenner, though. Okay, we're going to move here. Fire straight on this guy. Ooh, that looks like a CT hit to me. That was a head hit. Or was that a missile head hit? That was a missile head hit. CT with the PPC. Aye, aye. PPC, PPC, CT. Um, let's get in over here. Move order confirmed. Just want to get some evasion going. Not a whole lot, but still better than nothing. That may have been a CT hit. Was it enough? Hey, Acrobat's updating again. Target Wonderful. Why do you keep telling me that? You know, I know that. I should just turn off notifications. Uh, where are you going? Nice. Showing, you know, even though he's damaged, he's still deadly. Okay, so... Let's get you on him first. Oops, no, I want to be able to see him. Directly. Directly, please. Someplace. Yeah, the ACs can see me here, though. I can go here, I guess. I think I'll be okay there. This rock should be enough to cover me. Oh, my God. There's, like, a really bad chance to hit. Damn. Well, at least he loses one evasion that way. Get you next time. He'll be dead by then. I wanted Rhea to be able to have a um, chance at the Locust, but oh well. Okay, pulling off a flank move. So Rhea's going to move forward. Moving to here. I want to negate, negate my chance to hit a CT, but let's fire everything. Is he? I don't think. I think he might be in the mineral field there. It seems a lot harder to hit him for some reason. Just moving over here. Don't have to go very far. Fire everything. Yeah, there we go. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Okay, one left. In the base garrison, and then the base is going to just tear this guy up. Tear the base a new one. Ooh! You can actually see him from there. One hit. Okay, so let's get you. We want to need we need to start moving forward. So let's move down here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. And let's get the LRMs and everything firing on this guy. I'm gonna do an offensive push because I want everyone else to shoot before him. Okay, so Rhea. Move forward. Firing on this guy. Everything. Yeah, he's standing in the mineral field, so it's going to be really hard to hit him. But we're stripping that evasion, so that's good. Uh, let's get Owl over here. Sorry, let's get her over here. And we're going to do an offensive push on this guy again, or precision strike. Try and take the arm this time. Losing more evasion, and now we can blast this guy. And we're overheating, so let's leave the SRM-4 off. Fire. Oh, I thought that was going to hit there for a second. Oh, well. No damage we did our best. We tried. There is no try. There is only do or do not, and we did not. He's going to stay in the mineral field. You know, if he was better at targeting... You could do a lot of damage to us. To see here. Plenty to see. Here comes the auto cannons. Four hits. Ouch. Thank goodness for the bulwark. Okay, so. We gotta kill him. What can I do for you? Let's just step back. Let's just moonwalk back and fire at this guy. Right leg destroyed. That'll put his ass on the ground. Right torso. There's more where that came from. Not gonna need much more. He's just running out as, as a spotter. So once he's dead, I don't have to worry about the uh, anything else here. Let's get Owl next. 
firing on this guy. Let's go for a CT hit. Was that a CT? Yep, there we go. Okay, so they can't see us now. So we're going to reserve past the turrets. Let's reserve. And reserve again. And let's get 900 foot Jesus. We're going to sprint down into range of the turret. And then we're going to move Rhea up over here. Put a sensor lock on the turret. Light sniper turret. Okay, so let's move you here. Staying in range of the, of the sensor lock. Lock the turret. Okay. And this is one of the reasons why I want to get uh, a couple of launch boats. So this is just missiles firing. Not actually having to get close to these guys would be Commander. the ultimate, but it's obviously not going to be the case. We'll go. Move forward, brace. 900 foot Jesus. How much armor does this guy have left? Oh, he's got like almost nothing left. So we're going to just move in here. Got eyes on the next turret. Going to fire on this guy. Um, we don't need all this stuff. Just, just use the PPC. Okay, there goes that turret. Just want to save some heat so I can finish this stuff up real fast. Alright. Uh, let's get Rhea first again. Move her forward. Got another turret over there. Let's sensor lock this guy. He's the closest. I've got a sensor lock. Thank you. I hear you. Now, can we get into a position where we can direct fire this guy? Is that direct fire? It is. Hello there. Fire on this guy. You betcha. That should be enough to kill him. Yep. Now we can sprint down with my other guys to get into range where we can target these turret next. Let's not jump. Let's sprint down here. There's a next turret over there. Jesus will sprint down to here. Okay, Rhea. Um, let's get you down here. And let's sensor lock Yon turret. Sensors locked on. Light laser turret. Waiting on you, Commander. Possum moving forward, direct fire. We should be able to smoke that turret. Got it. Okay. And then our next two mechs will come around the corner and blow some of these buildings up. So Owl should be able to move around the corner. I don't think that turret can see us. Nope. It was an LRM turret, then maybe, but... Okay. That's okay. I'm going to have Joy in a second here. And let's not move too far. And we're going to multi-target. We're going to target this building, which barely has anything left, and the next one. And... These guys are on B, and that's on A. Enemy so there goes one. Almost two. Took a second there to calculate that. Alright, Rhea. Commander. I think we can sensor lock that turret. Well, certainly can. I've got a sensor lock. Light sniper turret. Oh, we got to kill that guy. So, possum. We cannot get a direct line of sight. What if we jump? We can't jump. Move into here. Going to alarm the turret. Okay, now all we have to do is finish it up Stand with Owl. By. Nice. Fire on this guy, get rid of it. Firing a full salvo. 
So there goes the turrets. Like clockwork. Now we just gotta stand and fire and finish these buildings up. Alright. Hey, Zeus. Just walk over a little bit. So we're gonna multi-target again. This guy and this guy. And that's gonna be A and these are gonna be B. Is that enough? Oh, not quite. Was for that one, though. Cool. Alrighty. I hear ya. Let's go possum first. Got it. Awesome possum. Let's fire on this guy. Right, Commander. Just about done here, people. Just about done. Systems recycling for another shot. Yes, Commander. Rhea. Moving to position. Finish up this building. Firing on target. I know it's not a glorious job, but it needs to be done. You most certainly did. All right, Al. Aye, aye. Let's just walk it up, get nice and close to this building. Finish her up. Target locked. There it is, folks. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. And I want you to just drop here. All right, so there we go. Two quick missions. 35% increase in salary, 133, nice. And no significant damage. The Vindicator did take a bunch of damage at the beginning. That uh, Jenner did uh, some really good work on him, but uh, nothing that we couldn't handle. All right, there's some few parts up here, no big deal. What do we want out of this? God, two medium lasers, I guess. All right, mech parts, all the lasers, some jump jets. Okay, not too bad. All right, so we're back. Let's have a look at the mech bays here. Yeah, hey, we have nothing to repair, but this locust, we're going to sell this. Um, so I don't know if this, if the scrap cost and the sale cost is exactly the same, but put it into the bay and sell. I'm pretty sure it is the same, um, but we're just going to go to uh, selling here. And we are going to sell the uh, locust. Let's get rid of that. And I think we're also going to sell the Commando. we got two of these guys, so we're going to sell them both. No point in keeping these. I know we're going to run lance, we're going to run two lances at some point, but I don't think these guys will be a part of those la second lance. I think the second lance will be um, Panthers. So we're going to sell those. we got a bit of cash. we got a million right now. So let's go buying. And we're going to buy this LRM-20. I want to see if I can work it into the mix somewhere. I know it's 10 tons. Um, or should I hold off? Let's hold off. I mean, we could sell another mech and get a blackjack. And if I wasn't playing the way I'm playing right now, I would do that. But I don't think we really need to, we're going to go that route right now. So we'll leave this as it is. And let's go to, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, for today. So we're going to end the episode. That was uh, two missions. Uh, one against the Capellans, one for them. So, yeah, we didn't do too bad. Um, so if you liked the video, please drop a like. Feel free to subscribe. Check out my Rogue Tech series, Cold Forged. Uh, there'll be a link up here to just click on and go over and check that out. Um, and I'm going to be running them congruently as soon as I catch up with uh, uh, Rogue Tech Flashpoint. Or, sorry, Battletech Flashpoint. Once I catch up with my, my Rogue Tech series, I'll be running them congruently one episode each. Uh, every day so you can check them both out uh, but until next time we'll see you later